Merhaba arkadaşlar. Sabahmen arkadaşlar bu e, kulaklık mesela gluten geleceği üzere pek iyi değil. Dışarının hani araba sesi falan da gelebilir bilginiz olsun. Ama sen çalışmaya gidiyoruz. Bir yardım ettik. Bir <gülüyor> yardım <gülüyor> çıktı böyle. Aslında bize yardım ediyorlar. İntikamımız alacağız. <gülüyor> You just need bean shooters or ruts. Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I just did. Well, we talk about this a lot. I mean, we should do the trick. We should do the trick. We should do the trick. We should do the trick. We should do the trick. We should do the trick. We should do the trick. We should do the trick. We should do the trick. We should do the trick. We should do the trick. We should do the trick. We should do the trick. We should do the trick. We should do the trick. We should do the trick. We should do the trick. We should do the trick. We should do the trick. We should do the trick. We should do the trick. We Ha biz bunu taşıyoruz hadi bakalım. Hani nerede taşıyoruz? Bir şaka yapacağız. <gülüyor> Havasını vurdu. <gülüyor> <gülüyor> We ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Just sh sh show up, Papa Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Good to meet you. Like I said, Ralphie here's a crack deck. Well, you bring him a stolen car, it'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha ha ha, Brad, but it, it'll get you across the trip to town. All right, let's go. You're driving. Hmm. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. I don't know what Ralph's trying to pull, giving us a smoke. I'm gonna show you something about the good life, and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. You know what I mean? That guy's fine. It's good to get a change from the cap. You don't have to be nice about it. Spins a tin can. So, was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yeah. It's a liar. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop off. The cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you gonna torch? He's got more friends on the force than us. We're okay. As long as we're careful. I'll be careful. Eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through. Well, you want a bottle? I'll just bring you some. Yeah, man. Keep some back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub.
Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. They're some lazy bastards. They put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no-name schmuck. Come on, over here. We gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. Send a message. Sure. Why are you going with? I'm gonna go for get one. shot? Okay. Go quiet, right? yeah, like that. Yeah, he's got his main guys. He'll get there someday. No one sees our heads. No one tries to pop them. Over this gate and up onto their roof. I'll go keep their chump busy while you creep up and pop them from behind. They're real good at distracting. It's the best thing. and start swinging. Use the bat, Tom. Uh -huh. Come on, Tom. Uh -huh. We're up against it here. Uh -huh. yeah, that's hey. great. Uh -huh. No one's drawing that again. Ah, oh, crap! Hey, get away from the car! You Back up there, Tom! I'll make you got some kind of death wish! Hmm? Just like that! Come on, Tom, quick! There's gonna be more of them! Use a Molotov and let's see some flames! Aims a little off! Use the bat to finish him off! The look on these bases is gonna be priceless! We gotta go. We can take Dino's car. How'd you know this is Dino's car? I don't like you. You got a good car? I'm gonna know where you keep it. Smash the window and we can take it. Old ways are the best ways. Straight through the gate! We gotta get out of here before the bulls show! Won't do that again, will you? Stay down! Don't let him get away! Come back, you bastards! Yeah, he's been seen. Go get him, boys. Head back and see the boss. I thought Silieri had cops on the books. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. 
How did it feel? Feel good? How'd what feel? Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. There's no time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. You think it's for you? This life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking questions. I like asking <laughs> questions. I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beat motors in parking lots. Eh. There's busy days, there's slow days. It's had more of an introduction than I ever got. Yeah, yeah. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor? Nah, stole enough cars yeah, to get noticed, I guess. Right? When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. So, I got a suit now and Vinny's an old bastard. <laughs> I always thought that to be in a family you had to have more connections. Your brother or your uncle. Or... Oh, some guys, sure. Your cousin got made or you like Carlo whose pop went way back with the Don. That means you get trusted more when you're starting out. There's plenty of us who came in off the street. Well, what happened to the car I sent you out with? Dumped it. Well, why? It was a boiler. This one's better. Up of a better car with a, with a broken window? Fresh ain't never killed nobody. Still with you then? Somehow, yeah. Hey, boss. It's done. No That's trouble. Easy, yeah. And yeah. Nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, easy. good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his Holy boys don't want to act. He's not going to be able to yeah, sit straight it. for weeks. See, that's the difference between me and Morello. I'm, I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morella is a hothead. And all of that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands. Make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you, but you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. And I'm gonna only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. A lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. Now you stay straight with me, you're gonna be living the high life time. But you abuse my trust. Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay then. Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. 
A barman Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter Sarah. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly we just waited. I got to thinking. Maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. <laughs> but what did I know? Are you Tommy? Yeah. Boss is waiting for you. Thanks. There he is. Sorry I'm late. Take a seat. That's collection day, boys. Awesome. So Tommy, you'll drive? Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe they'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Ah, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. <gülüyor> Hemen geliyorum o zaman hemen. Hey, just the guy. I saw this. And I thought of you. You ever carry a rat? I shot him at the fair a couple of times. <gülüyor> right. That don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Not at me, you moron. I killed guys for less time. Quit kidding around. Ah, this is not a Bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay, now show me a reload. I open the chamber and away you go. All right, last thing needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. And when shooting starts, Get behind some and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. Teşekkürler, Vincenzo. Look, you guys need to be careful today, okay? I spoke to Biff. He said, what else? You, you, you know how to get, get, get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And an afternoon to f f fix the window back up. Watch. And... Learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Hmm. Come on, Tata Tommy. Show me what you can do. Okay, it's c, c car You got it. Topkapı, topkapı, topkapı. <gülüyor> Haydi beyler, batmayın araba gidiyoruz. First we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again. Seems so. <gülüyor>
do today, Tom? When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. Hmm. Just follow the target. Sam, Polly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Ha, so little now. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. Okay, okay, okay. We didn't mean that. Ah, do we need a video? Real good. Now you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no, nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll Tommy, I'll get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you were. I mean, how can we just get the truck? Little Julia, without pain. I'm not part of the money. Run, vetch. Noi ci sangue. It's on the table, brown envelope. I got it. See you next month, Al. Let us know. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. And give our best to your mom. Sen de bırak gidelim mi? Sam, you sure? Sure, I'm sure. He's doing the store on his own? Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam and he's to let it out on his own, she's got to let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Got to let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, guy ended up in a wheelchair. Hi, boy.
Ich bin immer dran Paul. Hier kommt er. Er ist ein schneller Arbeiter. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's got his money as ours next week. Put some extra besides. We doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? And nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. The mission of Lost Heaven Radio, our city's public service broadcaster, is to come out with us again, Tom. Scott, your name would be the hero. Never found one. About Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own. Christ, Paul! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capiche? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Sam. They're trying to beat information out of him. I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Yeah, but, um, okay. Okay, just hang on. Oh, 
Oh, no. I guess. Geldim sen. Sam. Oh, they really went to work on you, buddy. Christ. Come on. You'll be all right. You're tough as nails. He's okay. Then go get the money! That was when I saw the cost. What it meant to be on the inside. <laughs> I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. Ah, şimdi oldu tamam. So that's how a regular Palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner, what are the odds? A 
It felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and then next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. Way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You're driving with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Ah. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Dumb, Tom Morello, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joe? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, no, no, no, no, no sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. The grills look bent up, is all. I mean, I got a cousin. I got. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. oh, oh. Bir şey yapmıyor ha. Baksana bak bir gidiyor. Bence o kadar büyük bir mahve ki. Someone spun you a tail pal. You got an informant right there says Marilla made a mint of the clock crackers onto the mask. That's true too. And still Marilla left that poor sap dead in the street. Bunlarla ilgili bir şey yapmıyorlar. Ama yine de Doğruluyor. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We're running bulls out for protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But, I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Mm -hmm. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, <laughs> Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload. But not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. He wants something to happen to the driver. Can't find them. Morello's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, 
None of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Sarah. Who the cavalinga for the set? Who the stick is your right? Oh, second.